Hello to the good honey beard. Wednesday, 14th October 2020. 6 p.m. After a hard day's run around to the city and various places. I just come in here now to look and see what is happening with the bees at this hour. And it seemed to be very, very calm. The temperature now is 29 degrees Celsius. The humidity is 74%. And it's so calm, it have no wind. And the sun is setting very nice. It has no set of clouds. Everything is so calm. The bees here, they are very calm right now. Everybody is getting ready to sleep. It looks like. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the frog, the frog and his partner is trying to come out of the hole there to start eating bees. But they have no bees to get. I'm getting a very nice aroma in the air from the tanko bean flowers. All right, girls, all right, all right. This is the only one that is bearing like this. And they try, they, they get a whiff of a smell, so they, they want to rile up. This is the mother colony, and you see they, they're improving very nicely. Well, they look like I have to move from here now. They're all coming at me. They want to give me a good night sting. All right, so later, you see how they come in all day, watch. Good morning, 6 a.m. October 15, 2020. I am sitting right here, looking at the bees, and uh, Africanized bees flexibility. Yeah, that is what they're looking at. I expect the bees to follow certain routine behavioral pattern under similar stimulating conditions. Case in point is the potential to sting because yesterday evening I was here while doing a little video for you guys and I got some sting here yeah man while I am within their zone space I have been careful to observe and um, the thing is man other colonies really do sting or really do show much of a stinging potential to their zone space being invaded by me, of course. While other colonies in the same apiary really do attack and are highly defensive. How come? And you know, this is the thing I've been looking at all the time. Now is my, this is, this is my thought, eh? Why are some so stingy while others are not? And look at how calm they are today. I'm sitting right here, looking at them. Early this morning. Hey, we have mosquitoes trying to attack me now. 
so look at how calm and nice today here it seems like we will probably get um a good a good sunshine today i will just make one little pass along the aisle here and see what's going on with these colonies actually i've been here for quite a while looking at these colonies and uh, although i have my plans in place usually what i do is i start up my beekeeping adventure on the 15th of october every year as a rule so i'm here today now and i will need to open up these colonies well not today because i have some errands to do um i see some of them are coming in with, with pollen on their legs and um Yeah, man, this colony here is doing very well with the body. All right, you see them there? So Let's take my first walk through and this is this is how I start my season aha uh -huh. what we have here all these girls they need to get a little a little zip in their step see all that bees that the other bees there they should be out and about looking for whatever. Oh, nice pollen boy. See a nice orangey red pollen going there just now. Yeah, man, everybody coming in with pollen. You see that? Look at that. Some of them overladen, you might want to say. So that tells me that the area sustaining the colony is very nicely. I'm still getting that nice, beautiful aroma in the air. These girls here like they didn't wake up yet or they're still sleeping. Look at them, look at them, look at them. They're behaving bad again, watch. They want to come out at me you now. They don't want anything blocking the entrance. All in all, they're still pretty calm. Why do some of them want to attack? They want to feel that their space are being invaded by me it is time that they know that i'm not a threat you don't think so but some animals don't ever get tame you know People, we might think that they will get tame but they don't they don't live long enough to get accustomed to us so yes folks, um, I have to get myself in gear, do those errands that I have to do today and get myself in gear to get these colonies active. There is a, there is going to be a, a nectar flow coming up in the next month and a half or so, so I need to start my program. So stay tuned for those goodies, those good bees videos coming up soon.
I am Hans T. Yaman, right here in the beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad, bringing you another good bees video. Um, yeah, man, I'm liking what I'm seeing in regards to the pollen and the smell that is emanating from the inside of these colonies. I know the tanko bean is almost finished, and we have here the hog plum which is like to my surprise you hog plum you know they have some hog plum here here and there and everywhere so the first thing i will need to do is to get in there and open up these colonies and see what kind of brood pattern they have where the brood is if it's on the left or the right or if in the middle and um, i have been keeping um, my bees with the queen excluder throughout the year. I operate one brood box, keep them in one brood box and um, keep the excluder on and that works nice for me. I don't want to have the problem of having the queen go up and laying in the supers and all of that and have to drive her back down and you know i do a, a cycling a frame cycling so that takes care of that anyhow all these goodies i'll be share, sharing with you in a timing so i'm going to go and get myself some some breakfast and do my errands and come back here and see what i can do to get these bees more activated because right now they're looking very calm you know oh we're getting a little drizzle here now yeah you're having a slight little drizzle with the rain So you see what I'm talking about. Why sometimes they're so stingy? <laughs> Anyhow, I will put a little more of that um, observation in the, in the section below so you could read all about it. No signs of uh, washboarding that will indicate that, you know, rain is on its way or anything like that. But trust me, these bees will behave bad, you know, if you open up these colonies on them. I don't know exactly what you're doing with these Africanized bees, otherwise you would not like them at all. Whoa, I see, boy, I see a lot of nice pollen coming in here, man. of these gills coming in with totally covered with pollen at this point in time I don't know where they can get in it from
you see all of that please subscribe and don't forget leave a thumbs up also here it comes ring that bell there for me i'll appreciate that very much so that you'll get new videos coming right in your mailbox then if you wish you can leave a comment last but not least i appreciate everything that you have been doing and thanks very much for watching TTFN